welcome back to Backyard Slingshots. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick mini review of my Moan Waller or RVA Tadpole. Um, this particular frame, my the faces on this one are a micarta. They definitely look like a canvas micarta, and I got this secondhand, so this is not brand new. As in from RVA, this came to me in a trade. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of going by what I see in regards to that. But the material definitely looks like a canvas micarta. We obviously have Moan's Lion Mosaic and then a new mosaic back here for another one. We got G10 pins, brass liner for my lanyard tube. I think you guys are in shot on that. Brass liner. G10 pins, black and white G10 liners, obviously aluminum core, got a, a clip, sandwich clip style for my band attachment. The, uh, the tadpole design comes from Mark Johnson from overseas. It has been used with obviously the tadpole. Um, Joey J5 also uses it on his fuse design and I'm currently working on a prototype uh, a spin-off of my twister from Smo Slings that he's, he's making and selling I'm working on a prototype of that right now working a modified top half version of the twister onto the tadpole grip for upright shooting tadpole per mark wasn't designed necessarily for the gangster style, but it was designed for upright shooting. He designed it for shooting upright or at a 45. That's where that curvature of that tadpole grip comes in. You come in and it just locks you in, and you're in there. Now, don't get me wrong, it does shoot fine in gangster. But he said to me in a message that it was designed and intended for upright and it feels great in upright uh, down range I got a seven and a half ounce soda can so we're just gonna throw a few shots at it it's been about a week since I've shot between cold fronts coming through thank you northerners for sending that cold down here to Florida that was awesome that felt great How about I killed a can in one shot? <laughs> but uh, this thing shoots awesome. It feels awesome. Uh, if you guys have not owned, I mean, there's very few people that don't own or have not owned an RVA from Moan Waller. Um, but if you guys haven't gotten your hands on something, get one. Be it in a trade or going directly to Moan. Uh, the man was. He was burning the midnight oil coming through the holidays. So, yeah, pause the camera real quick and I'll get my can set back up and we'll throw a few more at it. Okay, we're set back up down there, so let's go ahead and throw a few more at it and we'll talk specs on this thing real quick. Back to the right. There we go. <clears throat> Hitting the bottom of the can. Yeah, we, we center punched it that time.
Those are going through the same, pretty much the same hole. Yeah, I'm pretty much putting it through the same hole. <clears throat> the specs on this guy, top to bottom, so here to here, looking at 120 mil. On Moan's edition, it's 55 mil on the tips. I just got in some of the original Tadpole cores. They're around 65, but this one is 55 mil tips, or for the width. My actual fork tip is 20 mil. Uh, for those that are going to ask, this is precise 0.4, 17 to 9 taper, at a 250 active length. Let's make some more holes. We're back on the bottom of the camera. There we go, back in that same hole again. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going right through that same hole. This frame shoots so nicely. There we go, there's a good hit. The ammo I'm using with this 17.9 is uh, eight millimeter steel. But yeah guys, if you can get yourself a, an RVA, get your hands on one, definitely talk with Moan. He's a great builder, great guy. <clears throat> and on that note, I have hit 105 subscribers. I definitely, definitely thank you guys for that. Uh, I've just about got the... Uh, details worked out on what we're going to work on for my uh, for something special for hitting 100 subs. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've got the idea. We just got to get everything else ironed out. But there will be something coming up for my subscribers. Uh, definitely hit, hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Comment saying that you're subbed. And then uh, once I've got the finer details worked out, because the holidays kind of put a hold on that. But once I get those finer details worked out, we will get a video up and show you guys what the challenge will be. Because there will be a challenge. Uh, and the overall winner, I mean, you're just, the challenge is to get entry into the drawing to get the frame as a giveaway for my 100 sub mark. So, uh, once we got everything worked out and I get something set up down here for me to actually do this challenge uh, then we will get a video up and let you guys know what's coming the uh, it won't be precision I'll tell you that right now every challenge out there is a precision challenge this challenge will not be precision but it'll still be fun so uh, until next time guys that was a quick mini rundown of the uh, RVA tadpole this has been Chris with Backyard Slingshots. Keep it in the 10 ring shooters.